Hello people, Ferdy and Lise here. Now you know how to pronounce it, Lise Korpershoek. And I want to tell you why I haven't been uploading a lot of Elementor related tutorials lately. Well, it's really simple. In October they reached out to me and they said, hey, there's gonna be a new container builder and it's gonna change the way we make websites with Elementor. Your websites are gonna be faster, it's gonna be better. Maybe the learning curve is a little bit bigger, that's my opinion, but it's better. So I decided to not make any more tutorials until that container builder was released. So that's the reason why I haven't been making a lot of Elementor related tutorials. But the thing is that the container builder, which I was expecting in January, was delayed all the time. So it became April, it became May, it became October. And now the beta version is released. So it's almost stable. And the stable version, I think it will be released really soon. I think in 2022. So that's the reason why I haven't been uploading a lot of Elementor related tutorials. And that's a bit weird because I consider myself to be an Elementor minded YouTube channel. I love Elementor. Don't get me wrong. Don't think, hey, Ferdy is not uploading uh, new tutorials about Elementor. He must hate them. He must be really mad at them. Some people think things like that. Also because there are other videos on the internet of people that are negative about Elementor. And it seems, okay, maybe it's wrong, it's how I think. It seems that negative videos about Elementor are a great way to generate views. Maybe it's, that's, that's the reason why I do that. Maybe people are really upset with them. And I understand a bit of it because it's not fun when people tell you things that are coming and then they are delayed or not coming or they are not as good as expected. But I always liked Elementor. I, 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 yeah, I don't want to be, I don't want to, I don't want to be biased. I want to be transparent. And if I take a look at all the page builders at this moment, I like Elementor the most. Also, it has beautiful uh, links with uh, Croker Block, for instance. Gutenberg is getting better, or the, the WordPress block builder. But right now, I still love Elementor the most. I also like Divi. So I'm not hating on them. I'm not done with them. That's not the reason why I make no videos about them anymore. No. I like Elementor, I love Elementor. It has making, it has made making websites with Elementor you know, with, with WordPress so much easier than before. So uh, what you can expect in the future is really exciting because I don't consider myself to be a great designer. So I hired a friend who is a great designer. Every time he designs something, I'm like, how can you come up with that? So he will make the new designs for me in Figma. I will grab the Figma file and make that exact same thing, which looks amazing and which uh, I paid a lot of money for. I will show you how to create it in Elementor using the page builder, the new uh, container builder. So I think it will take my channel to the next level because now I also can talk about designing. Why is this button this big and this color? And why is this gray? And why is this hero like this? All, all design wise in order to get more conversions on your website. So I'm looking forward to that. So you will learn more things and you will learn how to work with the container builder when it's released. So that's in three minutes and 20 seconds why I haven't been making a lot of Elementor related tutorials lately. And, um, I'm looking forward to what's to come. I think the Elementor uh, container will be released really soon. And, um, I can't wait to make new tutorials about it. Yes, okay, that's it. Have a great day and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.